Hello, I'm Kesha Lambert. I am a New York-based wedding and portrait photographer. We photograph many, many weddings all over the country and all over the world. And today, I am going to share quick and easy tips for posing couples. Tip number one, start with something clean and classic and tell your couple that this is just the warm-up shot. And what I mean is start with simplicity. You want to build your posing up. And a lot of times couples arrive to their session nervous, in their head, not knowing what to do, very concerned about how everything's gonna go. So it's always great to start with something very clean and simple and you know, fake them out, tell them that this, we're just getting warmed up. And so what I like to do is line the couple up side by side, straight onto the camera. I direct them to stare right down the barrel of the lens. I will pay attention to areas of p potential tension, like the shoulders and the neck, the feet, the wrist, the hands. And if I see anything, I'll make some adjustments. I'll you know ask them to relax shoulders, things like that. Use lots of positive phrasing when you're making adjustments and to the posing, if you see tension. One of the things I like to do if I do see tension around the neck and shoulders is do a quick breathing exercise with the couple. I'll ask them while they're standing in position to close their eyes and exhale. And then slowly open your eyes. I almost always get the most regal, sultry, confident expression out of my couples when we do that. Tip number two, get up close and personal. Instigate an interaction between your couple. This is a tight shot, so you'll want to use a medium telephoto or a telephoto lens so that you aren't very close to the moment and it allows them to kind of forget about your presence. So you position them really close in an embrace, bring their faces together, make sure that they're not pressing, their, smushing their faces into each other. But di one of the di types of art direction I like to give a couple when I'm instigating or coaching an intimate interaction between them is to ask them to bring their faces close, don't pucker, and do little things like brush their face across each other, brush your lips across her chin, lots of touching. And even though this is a tighter shot, you're stepping back from the moment and giving them a few directives. Move a tendril of her hair away, you know, get close, but don't connect. Give little directives and step back and wait and see what happens. Tip number three, get them moving. You can lighten up the mood, put nerves to rest, and really provide a fun experience by getting your couples moving. And what does that look like? Bring music. One of the things I preach often is to make use of questionnaires at the start of a client relationship. Gather all kinds of random information about your clients. Well, one of the questions I like to ask my couples are things about songs that they like. What kind of songs can you recite together from start to finish? What songs do you know all of the words to? What song gets you moving? I, these are the types of questions that are already embedded in my questionnaire. So I arrive to the session with their song cued and ready. And you can put on their song and ask them to just dance, or you can give them a directive if you know a few little steps that they can emulate. And if you give them those steps, they'll take it and run with it. Another thing you can do is Ask them to sing a duet together or have a cypher, a rap battle. Pick the song that they, you know they both know all of the words to and let them just go at it. Again, I'm stepping back from those types of moments. Another thing that you can do that is fun is bring, you know, some, put, throw something in there that's a little competitive. Have them do a race, a little sprint to the finish. You really coach that moment, tell them to get on their mark and let them go at it. Another thing I'll throw in for a moment like that is sabotage each other because you really want to win the race. It could be anything 
fun and games, just get them moving, get them dancing, get them twirling, all of those things lighten the mood and you shoot through those moments and you'll get the little glimpse of magic in between. Tip number four, stagger their positioning. Add a little drama by staggering your couple. Place one in the light and one in the shade. Stagger their position and, and, and stagger the direction that they're, they're looking off into. You'll add a touch of storytelling and drama when you do that. Tip number five, Direct a scene. And what do I mean by that? Make it a movie. Think about some of the things that a couple might do when they're out on a date or when they're relaxing at home and direct an entire scene. This is where you get your couples to turn on their acting skills. An example of that would be asking one person to wait, let's say in, a, in the lounge area or the living room, wait in a certain area and direct the other person to pick up a glass of champagne, pour it, and walk over to their partner. Directing an entire scene, scripting a scene, and giving them an action with a directive is a great way to pull in an element of storytelling and a great way to possibly instigate a beautiful moment and interaction between your couple. Another thing you can do is di you know, direct the one person to perhaps sit and wait while the other walks over to them and gives them the Spider-Man kiss. There's so many things, so many possibilities, so many things that you can play around with. You can reenact something they might typically do on an average day, or you can reenact a moment that you saw in a film that you really like. As long as it's something that isn't overly complicated, give them a very detailed directive for a scene to act out, step back and watch what happens. And those are my quick tips for posing couples. I hope you found them helpful and useful. If you have any more suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And I'm findable by name across all platforms. So my website, KeshaLambert.com. I'm on Instagram, at KeshaLambert. Twitter, at KeshaPhoto. And TikTok, at KeshaLovesHats. Bye.